Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my zine, your digital fashion magazine. Today we're back with another street style video. I just spent the last two weeks living in Berlin and I wasn't expecting it, but it truly felt like an European New York. I'm super excited to show you guys all the street style that I recorded in the next few videos. Um, I asked a lot of people what they thought of Berlin style and a lot of them, literally everyone said that it was very dark, a lot of like monochromatic outfits, especially black outfits. So let me know if you've lived in Berlin or if you've traveled, if you think that this is a good representation of what people with funky styles look like there. I did get a very exciting and big package from the Zenu while I was in Berlin. So this video is not sponsored by them, but I am collaborating with them. So I thought I would show you some of the things in this video, not now, but in a little bit because I am redecorating my filming studio and I'm very excited about what's getting in here so we'll get into that in a little bit but for now let's just go and watch the street style looks hi I'm Riley and I'm getting my master's degree here in Berlin and I'm wearing a fully vintage outfit actually so I can't tell you where anything is from um, most things are either from an estate sale or a vintage store either here in Berlin or in New York has changed since being in Berlin or is it pretty much Oh, for sure. I wear a lot of darker colors now. Not that you can see in this outfit. Yeah. Not that you can see that in this outfit, but <laughs> But yeah, I've been wearing a lot of black and dark lately. Mm. Or like one outfit and would describe it like your style right now, what would you Would probably be some kind of um cowboy boot mm -hmm. and then like you know like some, one of those like really mini mini skirts yeah, and then like a big little chunky little sweater little yeah little that's what I would be sporting yeah cold, it's cold but it's never too cold for a mini skirt <laughs> I'm uh, Mattia uh, this is from three foot shop in Sicily free euro uh, this is from Macalzedonia I really like it because it's like really comfortable and soft and this is from is a uh, casting pants from my best friend which I have since like five years New rock shoes. <laughs> okay, thank you. That's everything. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nora. I'm from Hungary. I live in Berlin. This is my friend Chao. Hi, I'm Chao. I'm from China. I also live in Berlin. And uh, with our artistic souls, we will both work other things than artistic stuff because that doesn't pay, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, and yes, um, so you asked me about my outfit. Most of the things are secondhand except this. Uh, this is a two piece. I tried to show you because underneath there's like hidden gems. Let me actually open it because <laughs> uh, it's cold as in Berlin still. So I'm hiding myself, but underneath. That's the outfit. <laughs> um, this is something I just recently bought in Brazil, actually. This I bought on a flea market. And this underneath, this is very special, by the way. This is very beautiful. This is a kimono, and it's from Kyoto. And it actually has, like, the sign of the family in the back. So it's, like, literally, like, from the family. <laughs> it's very special, so cool. It was my very, very first kimono after this many other came like many a lot this is second hand and a lot of textures a lot of stuff mine is very simple this jacket i got it in the flea market in mexico and this um, uh, sweater i found it on the street and this pants i also got it in the uh, second hand place i feel like you would describe berlin style now that you're living here Berlin style, I think it depends on which district you're at. Because <laughs> yeah. this is going to be very different here than, yeah. for example, in Friedrichshain or in Neukölln, right? Yeah. Or Kreuzkölln. I would say trash, but in a good way. Yeah, yeah. It's about upcycling. <laughs> Not so much pressure about how you want to look like, yeah. and more about the attitude. Alright, so as promised, I'm just going to show you a little bit of what I've been doing to the filming studio in the apartment. Um, I moved here a year and a little bit less than a year and a half ago. When I lived with my parents, the walls in my room were always filled with posters, prints, magazine, pages, uh, canvases that I would paint. And when I moved here and I had a whole apartment to furnish and decorate, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with the wall, so I kept it more minimalist, even though I do have that big, famous magazine wall. And now I feel like I'm ready to 
just go all out and that's what I'm doing today. The Zenu offers beautiful high quality Scandinavian prints and frames mostly created by their in-house team of designers, photographers, illustrators. They offer a bunch of different styles and aesthetics. They have photography prints, illustrations, quotes, nature stuff, prints for kids, prints for the kitchen, abstract art and they update their collection on their website super regularly. They ship the countries worldwide including the US in two to four days from its US based warehouse. I spent a lot of time picking prints and a website because they have so much variety so I link the ones that I ordered in the description box in case you want to order the same print. It's springtime we all like to refresh and clean and declutter and redecorate our spaces in spring so if you're looking for some cool ways to decorate your walls and your spaces make sure to check out the Zenio. I have a 45% discount code for you so you can use the code myazine for 45% off all prints except for personalized prints and canvases and 10% off your frames at the Zenio. This discount code is not eternal so it will only be valid until this date. Make sure to take advantage of it, 45% on prints is a lot. I hope this inspires you. I'm excited and now let's just get back into the street style. Hi, my name is Veneta. Um, yeah, so my scarf is from Lithuanian designer. Yeah, and it has really nice details. Uh, the coat. Slava Diana. Yeah. My coat is from random sh in, in online shop. This sweater, jeans really old i don't know boots are from also some internet shop yeah and then my bag wait yeah it's also from lithuanian designer yeah and my jewelry is yeah this is the casio watch my rings almost are from lithuanian designers and earrings as well most of them Lithuanian designers. Do you feel like your style has changed since you... I moved to Berlin, to Berlin. yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. I wear more black. Okay, yeah, that yeah, that's that's true. And I think I went for more simple looks. Yeah, every, yeah, exactly. Yeah, so probably that's it. Yeah, hi, I'm Yang. Um, I'm from Berlin and I... I'm a student and studying right now landscape architecture. These are just normal Doc Martens. Then the Levi's pants, they were originally white, but then I dyed them purple and then I dyed it again black. And you see those purple stripes. Then this boat sweaters are from weekday. And this was a big black jeans jacket from the flea market but I cropped it myself and yes that's it when it rains it pours such a pity where you from in Dublin city hello my name is Julian and my shoes are from Doc Martin uh, my back warmers I don't know I think from Amazon or something then my uh, pants is from a local vintage store in Berlin my jacket is from Armani jeans my leather jacket is also vintage. My hat is thrifted, thrifted also vintage. Uh, then we have a destroyed only tank top. Okay. And my whole ass accessory is vintage and from uh, flea market. Oh yeah, the bag is also vintage. My name is Denise. Um, my jacket is from the North Face. This one is from uh, 22 Dave. Uh, that's a Destroy Lonely t-shirt, uh, tank top, I'm sorry. Um, the belt is thrifted, uh, the leather pants is thrifted. I also have dogs on uh, with this leg warmer. I just glued it on. Uh, I'm Pasquale, I live in Berlin since five years. I'm from Italy, yeah, I'm from Italy and I'm 27 years old. I work here in Soho House and uh, yeah, that's my outfit, that's my uh, vintage coat from my grandfather's, I don't know how much is it. Okay. That's uh, the shirt from Topman and I bring from ASOS, I think, 30 euro. The jeans is uh, Levis, I don't know how much is it. The Dr. Martins is uh, 150. And uh, my hat I bring from Umana, it's second hand, 15, 50 euro. 
and yeah, the shop bag. Maybe five euro in the, around the streets, and yeah, that's it. All right, guys. So this was the video. Are you excited to watch more Berlin content? Because I know you guys love my New York City content, but I'm really digging this Berlin street style, and I have a couple more exciting fun stuff to come. So let me know what you think of the Berlin outfits and the Berliners, um, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Bye. Like a peach, a sock, click of the keys when I tweet. Black men don't cheat. cheat. When it rains, it pours such a pity. Where you from in Dublin City? Don't be alone if you roam. The longest way round is the shortest way home. It rains, it pours such a pity. Where you from in Dublin City? I wrote down it in the sheets, purple limbs around my neck. Kind of difficult to breathe. Now I'm gasping for some air. Why the fuck?